Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how an author can make a submission to an OJS journal. The first thing we'll need to do is to log in. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to register for one, and you could watch the previous video to see how to do that. And if you've forgotten your username or password, there's a video for that. We log in, and we can see that we're an author with zero active submissions, and here's where we can make our new submission. It's going to be a five-step process. We'll work our way through, but it's quite straightforward. The first choice is what section we think our submission belongs in. We'll pick articles, and then we can see that there is a submission checklist. Read each of these carefully. Make sure that your submission conforms with what they're asking, and then check each one off. You can see the journal's privacy statement, and you can see a box for entering any comments to the editor if there are any special considerations you'd like to bring to their attention. And let's just save and continue. And from here, we can upload our submission file. Choose File. And I've got a Word document here. And I'll hit Upload. And that looks good, so I'll save and continue. That's my main article submission document uploaded. Step three is for metadata. It's pulled over some of the author metadata from when I created my account. I could add some additional information at this point if I wanted to. If there were additional authors for this piece, we could use the Add Author button to add their metadata. But we'll just keep going for this demo. And we have to put in our title. Let's just make something up here, a study of open source online submission systems. And we would type our abstract in here. And indexing, it's in English. And if there were any contributors or supporting agencies, any funding we'd received for writing the paper and doing the research, we could enter those here. But we'll hit save and continue. Step four allows us to upload some supplementary files. These might be some image files we want to add. They might be some data files we want to add, and we can do multiple files. So let's choose a file here. I've got a spreadsheet with some research data. I'll upload that. And here I need to add a little bit of metadata describing the supplementary file. I'll just call it research data. These other ones are optional. Put a data set. And you could fill these in as appropriate. That looks good. Save and continue. Now we can add another supplementary file if we want to. For example, maybe your article has six images that you need to include. You could upload each of those images here. But for our purposes, let's just move ahead, save and continue. And we're on step five, confirming the submission. Everything looks good. We've got our main Word document. We've got our supplementary file. And we'll hit the Finish Submission button. And that's it. Congratulations. You've just made a submission to an OJS journal. Let's take a look at our inbox and see what's waiting for us there. And we can see we've got a submission acknowledgement message from the journal thanking us for making our submission and with a link back to the journal if we wanted to log in and follow the progress through the various stages of review, copy editing, and proofreading. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.